I just had this feeling come across my head and it was very strange. And I said, something's happening here. And all of a sudden then, I just was paralysed. I couldn't get up, I couldn't move, couldn't speak, you know, and that was it. I'm Felix Shebeki and I'm a stroke survivor. I was worried myself because I've heard of people having strokes and I said, this is the end. I, I thought it was the end of me. That's what I thought. I was down on the ground, I couldn't speak. Ina came in and she saw me. I ran straight down and uh, I looked and he went, stroke, okay. I just ran off and made the phone call, asked for the ambulance and uh, I tried to calm him down by holding his face and the ambulance came in and I asked him to take over. In this case, we were lucky that we had the this, this stroke ambulance come and find out where the clot was. That's what saved my life and not having to wait uh, uh, to get me to the hospital. I knew I was in good care. Then when I arrived at the hospital, all I remember was the mask going on my face and then I woke up in the recovery room. They'd done the angiogram and uh, sucked out the rest of the clot and they said, how are you? I said, I'm okay, thank you. And I spoke, started speaking. We sort of got up and had a look and he was flaying his arms and legs around and we said, he's fine. When he starts doing that, he's fine because he has a habit of using his arms and legs. So we, we just sort of, we laughed and we were all happy and hugged each other. Then he came past and you know, he said, he's fine. That was fine, Serena and the two daughters and uh, Rick, my brother. And um, I just put my hand out like that and I gave them high fives. They all put their hands out and I gave them all high fives and they were all in shock when they saw it, you know, because I was all right. When we first got to Felix, he was paralysed down one side, he couldn't speak, so to see him go home from hospital three days later, fully recovered, back to how he was, was absolutely amazing and absolutely makes my job worthwhile. With stroke, time is brain. Every minute we delay treatment, almost two million brain cells die. At the moment, we have one mobile stroke unit. We would love to have more throughout Victoria and throughout Australia. Patients have strokes all around this country and we need to get better access to them no matter where they live. A stroke can affect anybody, whether young or old. It can happen any time. I'd appreciate if everybody could help, if you could give, give to the Stroke Foundation because I believe that the, uh, the Stroke Foundation uh, with the ambulance just saved my life because uh, I, felt, I felt I was gone. I don't think I could have, could have survived without it all. Thank you very much to all of them on my behalf and my husband's behalf. Yeah, so. Felix has been the love of my life for the past 37 years and I'd hate to lose him.